Good evening. Everyone, please stay standing for the national anthem to be performed by the Radford High School Concert Choir under the direction of Mr. Darren Goat. to the 109th commencement for Radford High School. As we begin tonight, we would like to honor all parents and grandparents of our class of 2021. Would you please stand at this time? I would also like to recognize the faculty of Radford High School. They are truly the best of the best. Faculty members, would you please stand at this time? Two members of our faculty will be retiring this year, Mr. Rick Cormany and Mr. Mac Williams. Also, Mr. Biller, Billy Miller and Ms. Andy Gwynn will be leaving to pursue other opportunities. We wish them all the best in the future. Also, if there are any members of the faculties of McCarg Elementary School, Bell Heath Elementary School, or John Dalton Intermediate School, would you please stand at this time to be recognized for your contributions in helping the class of 2021 reach this milestone. Our school division is fortunate to have strong support from our city council, mayor, and school board. Would all members of these governmental bodies please stand to be recognized. We sincerely appreciate your tireless efforts on behalf of our students and your investment in all our lives. Also present this evening is our school division, division administrative team. Each one of these individuals is passionate about education and has a heart for students. We are honored to have with us Mr. Rob Graham, Superintendent. Mrs. Ellen Denny, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Kenna Colley, Executive Director of Pupil Services. Mr. Daniel Hill, Director of Special Education. Mr. Darden Freeman, Assistant Principal of Radford High School. This is Tara Grant, Principal of Bell Heath Elementary School and McCarg Elementary School. Mr. Ken Keister, Assistant Principal of Bell Heath Elementary School. And Mrs. Deb Reedy, Assistant Principal of McCarg Elementary School. I also want to recognize the contributions of Mr. Jerry King, 
principal of Dalton Intermediate School who couldn't be with us this evening and is retiring. Thanks, Mr. King, for all your hard work and dedication to the Radford City Schools. I would be remiss if I didn't mention one other person at this time, as this is my last graduation, as I'm retiring. I would like to recognize my wife, Karen Smith, who has been with me on this journey from 1986. One week after we got married, we moved to Radford so I could begin teaching and coaching. She came here and set the apartment up by herself, and she's been with me every step of the way. Karen, I love you. At this time, Mr. Graham will deliver a few welcoming remarks. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Good evening and welcome Bobcat families. As Mr. Smith said, I'm Rob Graham and I have the distinct honor and privilege of serving as superintendent of this outstanding school division. I can't tell you how excited I am to be with you, all, with you all this evening on this sacred ground and experience what we have not had in more than 15 months, normalcy. There have been times recently where I felt that normal may be returning, but truly tonight, normal is back. And it's great to be here with all of you in this amazing class that sits directly in front of me. I have thought a lot about the message I wanted to deliver on this very special evening, so I began to reflect before writing my thoughts. Reflection is a good thing, and I've spent many hours thinking about the events that have transpired since Governor Northam closed all schools on March 23rd, 2020. I thought, how in the world can I convey to these special seniors sitting in front of me what they have done, the leadership they have provided, and the character they have shown during such trying times? I thought, and I thought, and I thought some more. And finally, I came up with what I wanted to share with you this evening. Unfortunately, it's pretty simple. Only a four-letter word to describe what we have all faced during unprecedented times in school year 2020. And just on a side note, my mother, who is in attendance this evening, is probably freaking out about that four-letter word right now. <laughs> so get ready. Here it comes. You ready? The four-letter word is wow. That's pretty heavy, isn't it? Now, I know you are saying, Mr. Graham, you are superintendent. You have to know that WOW is spelled W-O-W. -W. Well, that might be the case in a normal year. But this, in this extremely abnormal year, WOW is spelled W-O-O-W. -O -W. Wow. Wow. Never in my close to 30 years as an educator did I ever think that schools across the country and here in Virginia would have, cl have closed for a virus. Never would I have thought that spring sports, prom, graduation events, and graduation for the class of 2020 would need to be rearranged or reorganized in a fashion to meet the requirements of social or physical distancing. Never would I think we would use words like continuity of learning, continuity of work, continuity of athletics, virtual, remote platforms, return to learn, school bus food program, mitigation, variance, and probably the most well-known, face mask. Worn above the mouth and nose, please. Wow. I can't tell you how impressed I was with the baccalaureate program on Sunday night with the music and speeches our seniors delivered that evening. They were all spot on, but one part of one senior speech really stuck with me. Caroline Bryant spoke about how hard this year has been for all. She told us how she had spent an enormous amount of time this school year crying and crying and crying some more. Like Forrest Grump said, Caroline, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and by the way, you aren't the only one that was crying. For those of you who know me, I cry at the drop of a hat anymore, so you can imagine the amount of tears I had shed during this school year. In fact, Niagara Falls asked if I would consider being the poster boy of their future marketing campaigns. I also received a call yesterday from Kleenex, and they feel like I would be a good CEO for their cor corporation for some reason. Ms. Bryan is in fact correct. There are many reasons for the challenges and perplexities of a, of a year like this, but it is the unknown and ever-changing that made our heads spin. As for the unknown, I have told our students and staff and school community members many times during the pandemic 
that I know enough to know that I don't know much, but what I do know is that I don't know what I know when I'm supposed to know or not know what I know to when I know it, you know? <laughs> and then the ever-changing comes into play. Here's an example. Good afternoon, this is Rob Graham, superintendent of Rapid City Schools, calling with an important announcement. Tomorrow, we will go right, no left, no forward, no backward. Now forget that. We'll go no north, no south, no east, no west. Wait a minute, go to school, no remote. No go to school, no go remote. No go to school, no go remote. Learn in person, learn remote, learn synchronously, learn asynchronously, four days a week, no two days a week, no two days virtual and two days remote, no one day a week remote, and three days in person. Play basketball, don't play basketball. Some of you play basketball, while some of you don't. Play football, don't play football. Play volleyball, no don't play volleyball. Take a temperature, don't take a temperature. Wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Wear the mask over your mouth and nose. No, just over your mouth. Stay seat six feet away, no three feet, no zero feet. Holy cow, cow gone, take me away. <laughs> anyway, if you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact a central office or bidding administrator if you have questions. Wow. There are so many to thank for the successes we have had throughout this year. Our city government, the New River Valley Health Department, New River Valley Community Services, New River Valley Pediatrics, Region 7, Superintendents Coalition, the Curriculum Instruction Program Coalition, local businesses, our school board, our leadership team, our faculty, and staff, parents, grandparents, relatives, guardians, friends, and these wonderful folks in front of you. I'm sure you've missed someone I'm sure I missed someone, but I'm amazed at what this small community can do with a mission and unification. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special class. I've been with many of, the children, many of your children for 13 years, and I can tell you when they were in five and in kindergarten, I knew they were going to do great things for our school division. Yet, just yesterday, you were all walking into McCard, and today you are sitting here in front of us, ready to move on to a new chapter in your life. I am so very proud of you. Not only have you set an example for those to follow, you have done so with dignity and grace. I'm not sure you know this, and please know this is not a competition, but your class had more students participating in in-person instruction this year than any other class in our school division and most of Region 7. Words that have come up to me on a daily basis. Thank you. Words that have come up to me on a daily basis to describe this group are tough, resilient, courageous, strong, flexible, patient, and calm. Just think about the accomplishments you have made this year under unprecedented conditions. Multiple division, regional, and state championships in both academics and athletics, with I think a lot more to come. I can't believe how many college signings I have been to this year despite the shortened seasons and schedules. You have set a standard for those below you to follow not only during a normal school year, but during chaos as well. This evening, you deserve everything you have worked for, and I couldn't be more proud of what you have done and what you have meant to the school division. Wow. There are a lot of negatives that have come from this year with COVID-19 pandemic. Do not focus on the negative. Focus on this. If you can make it through this year as well as you have, you can do anything. Oprah Winfrey states, everyone wants, to ride, everyone wants to ride with you in the limo. Well, what you want is someone who will take the bus with you when the limo breaks down. The limo broke down this year and you all rode the bus at unprecedented speeds. Congratulations, class of 2021. You have so much to be proud of and we congratulate you for all your accomplishments. We will now hear a selection from the Radford High School Concert Choir under the direction of Mr. Darren Goat.
At this time, I would like to ask the senior class president for the 2020-2021 school year, Gillum Lard, to please come forward to address the class of 2021. Gillum plans to attend New River Community College in the fall, where he will major in science. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. Gillum Lard. Um, before I start, my speech that I wrote a couple nights ago. Uh, this fine young man right here, as he said, he is retiring this year, and I would just like everyone to give him one more big round of applause. crazy to think that for the last 13 years, our lives have followed a very similar path. And um, today, that all changes. Today, we begin a new chapter in our lives. And first off, I would just like to say thank you to all the wonderful people in this little town that have helped shape us into the people we are today. I will start off by giving a huge thank you to our administration for allowing us to be here together one last time. We're experiencing a little bit of normalcy for these people as we wrap up our senior year. Mr. Graham, Mr. Freeman, and Mr. Smith. We all greatly appreciate the work y'all have done for us, and I can assure you this will, something, this will be something that we always remember. Secondly, I would like to thank every single teacher in this school because y'all do an outstanding job. And um, yes, that includes you too, Ms. Caps, wherever you're at. Um, you guys have done so much more for us than just feed us information from a book. You have been valiant role models for us and raised us to be the people we are today. I remember back in freshman year, there was some crazy old man that would give us a thought every week. And um, even though Mr. Hickam still has an air purifier in his room to protect us from COVID, him teaching us about integrity and how to respect others is one of the most valuable lessons that I learned in high school. Then on the other hand, Mr. Wolford attempting to teach me some form of responsibility did not go as well. I would also like to say a huge thank you to all the parents here tonight. And uh, by the looks of it, y'all did a pretty good job. I would especially like to say thank you to my mom and dad. I will always love you guys and hope you're proud of the man I've become. And after the criminal level speeding ticket I received, I understand why my dad said nothing good ever happens after 10 p.m. <laughs> Lastly, I would just like to thank anyone else who helped put together prom, helped with any sporting event, or anything, anything else that has helped our student body get through this crazy, crazy year. Speaking of our student body, let's talk about how great the class of 2021 is. 
Um, to start off, personally, I think we're the best looking class, best looking class that's come through here in a while. All the 2020 ones up there, they're a little rough, but uh, um, we, are, we are a class of young, talented individuals and we have accomplished so much together. We have dominated sports for the last four years to contribute to multiple state championships and we probably would have had a couple more if Coach Cormany would have recognized my basketball skill a little bit sooner. <laughs> we are a bunch of hardworking, talented individuals. And with that being said, the only advice I have to offer is this. We live in a world filled with countless ways to put measurements on your life. You can measure it with fans, followers, bank account balances, social status, and even the people we surround ourselves with. You can do that, or you can measure it with the hearts you touch, the people you make unforgettable memories with, the time you spend with ones you love, or anything else that has an infinite value that cannot be measured. So as we go our separate ways, I hope that you all enjoy the good times in life because you may not realize they're the good times until they're gone. So to wrap this up, I wish you all the best, and no matter what obstacle you face in life, always get back up and keep pushing forward. I love making memories with you guys, and I wouldn't want to spend my childhood with any other group of people. Thank you, Gil. Our commencement speaker this year is Ms. Donna Urban. Donna is married to Larry Urban, and they have two children, Kimberly and Martin, and two grandchildren, Jordan and Erilyn. Donna graduated from Radford High School and then attended Radford University, where she earned a BA in English, and then went on to UVA, where she earned a Master's in Administration and Supervision in K through 12. She taught eight years in the Roanoke City School System before coming home to RHS, where she has taught for the last 15 years. She is a member of the Radford Church of God in Christ and enjoys reading, traveling, and listening to gospel music. Other than the titles of Mrs. Irvin and teacher, her favorite title is Nana. And now without further ado, it's my pleasure to present to you Mrs. Donna Irvin. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for that introduction. I want to thank God, the senior leadership, Spencer Perdue, for making this day one of the most eventful days of my life. I am honored and humbled that you have chosen me to be your 2021 commencement speaker. Faculty, staff, administration, parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends. We are here tonight to commend this graduating class. Give yourself a hand for your role, however large or small, in shaping them to become the individuals they are today. <laughs> Students, from the time you began school, you've been headed in this direction. After attending pre-K, you might have heard now that you've learned your ABCs and one, two, threes, the rest of school will be a breeze, right? <laughs> middle school might have ended with, you've graduated middle school, you're, ma you're more than halfway done. Only four more years to go. The fun has just begun. High school definitely felt like this. For years, you've dreamed about this day, and now it's finally come. Buckle up and hold tight. Your life has just begun. Tonight, on this auspicious occasion, you face one of the most momentous days of your lives. You are on the cusp of greatness. Your lives will be forever changed and defined by these next few moments. Take a minute to think about what it took to get to this point. All the reading, and remember, I taught some of you all. All the studying, get real. All the testing, I did grade your test. Tutoring or not. 
Whatever the ING word, you fill it in. It is all paid off for this particular chapter in your life. For if life were a book, this is just a small segment of it. For you must recognize that life is a journey, not a destination, and you have not arrived. Whether you seek higher education, enter the military services, enter the workforce, or do something else, you will not find real success in moving faster, striving incessantly, living selfishly, or judging others. Rather, I admonish you to slow down, recognize what really matters, identify what does not matter, and embrace the awesome gift that life is. Every day is a gift from God. That is why it's called the present. Where do you go from here? All of us must give an account for what we do in this life. During this journey of life, I've gained some valuable lessons that I would like to share with you. I call it being the best me that I can be. Give others a hand up, not a push down, for we rise even as we lift others up. Stand for something or you will fall for anything. Purpose to make a positive difference in the world. Make such an impression that someone will sit up and take notice. Pursue justice because the life you impact might very well be your own. Practice the serenity prayer. Ask God to give you the serenity to accept the things you cannot change, the courage to change the things you can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Be quick to show mercy because you don't know when you might need some of it yourself. Be kind to everyone because the same people you see on your way up, you will meet on your way down. Follow the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Commit it not just to memory, but make it so natural that it becomes a part of your life. And if you don't remember anything I say tonight, remember this one thing. If you are the smartest one in your circle, find a new group of people because they will bring you up to the level that they are. Learn to take responsibility for your actions. Understand the importance of accountability. Have integrity. The moral code that you live by shapes who you are. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Watch your words. For your words have the power of life and death. You can speak life and death, not only to yourself, but to those around you. Set high standards and few limitations. As my pastor said, it is a bad habit to set low standards and then fail to achieve them. Learn from your mistakes as everyone has them. Failure is the back door to success. Recognize that sometimes there are second, third, fourth, etc. chances and be glad and thankful to those people who offer them to you. Don't just go through life, but grow through life. If you don't learn how to laugh, then you will surely cry. Keep smiling. It makes people wonder what you're up to. To encapsulate the messages, don't talk about it, 
be about it. I command you to go forth and be the best you that you can be. And in closing, Muhammad Ali said that he was the greatest. I beg to differ. I know you're going to be well and be successful in life because you're the greatest. Class of 2021, we love you. And please note, the tassel is worth the hassle. Be blessed for the rest of your lives. Thank you, Ms. Irvin. The King Awards are presented each year to the outstanding male and female student in the senior class. The selections are based on scholarship, leadership, citizenship, contributions to fellow students and to the school. The awards are presented annually by the James P. King family and the selections are made by the Radford High School faculty. Each recipient receives a check for $1,000 and an engraved pewter julep cup. The King Awards for 2021 are presented to Caroline McKenna Bryant and Mason Vaughn Sproul. Caroline plans to attend Virginia Tech and major in childhood pre-education. Mason plans to attend the College of William and Mary as a James Monroe Scholar in the Honors Program and major in kinesiology. Congratulations to these two most deserving students. Next, we would like to recognize and hear from our salutatorian and valedictorian for the class of 2021. <coughs> would Mason Vaughn Sproul please come forward? The salutatorian for the class of 2021 is Mason Vaughn Sproul. Mason has a GPA of 4.3571 and will be attending the College of William and Mary in the fall where he plans to major in kinesiology. Congratulations to Mason on his many achievements. Thank you, Mrs. Smith, and thank you also to Mr. Freeman, Radford High School faculty, families, and distinguished guests. Congratulations to the Radford High School class of 2021. The salutatorian speech is intended to be a reflection of our time together and to remember how far we have come. We are all graduating as Bobcats, whether you were born in Radford, started elementary school at McCarg or Belfast, or moved to Radford during middle school or high school. Many of us have been in training as Bobcats our entire lives, and others have come into the way of the Bobcat along the journey. Those of us who started as Yellow Jackets at McCord were small, feisty, maybe even annoying, but Mr. Graham and Mrs. Denny began training us to be Bobcats and taught us many life lessons. We learned to show respect for others by walking hips and lips in the hallways. We learned about kindness and sharing feelings with eye messages from Freddie the Frog. We learned about service to others by spending kid cast to work with Mr. Green. We learned to balance work and play during recess, the Wii Center, and field day. Although Mr. Graham had to do more work than play to spin us in the orbit. When we moved on to Belle Heath, we became Bulldogs. Friendly, tenacious, maybe a little wild at times, but we continued to grow as future Bobcats. We had shared experiences like one book, one school, which taught us about being a community of learners. We learned about money and budgeting through Mrs. Q and the Scholastic Book Fairs. We learned to work towards goals and celebrated achieving them, such as when Mr. McKinley shaved his head when we all passed our SOLs. As we transitioned to John Dalton Intermediate School, we felt like we had arrived. We were a step closer to being real Bobcats, but there were still lessons to be learned. We were excited and a little nervous to share space with Radford High School. We were challenged with new schedules and stressed ourselves academically. Some of us took classes with high school students. 
We developed artistic talents by playing in the band and singing in the choir. We practiced teamwork by joining school teams, and we explored the world around us with trips to Washington, D.C. and to Richmond. We finally became high school students, decided to be part of Bobcat Nation, and shown how we had grown as Bobcat citizen scholars. As a class, we have overcome obstacles and have excelled artistically, academically, athletically, and in service to others. As Bobcats, we have received recognition and titles for choir, band, forensic, theater, math, scholastic bowl, esports, and athletics. During our time in high school, we received 25 regional titles and eight state titles. Our class has learned hard skills in culinary arts, drafting, machining, agriculture, building trades, and video production. These skills will serve us well into the future, whether we pursue them as careers or simply as life skills. Collectively, we have volunteered over 2,332 hours into our community, and over half our class will continue this tradition of service as they participate in the ACE program. The way of the Bobcat has not been easy. We've struggled at times. We weathered a senior year where many of us were not in the building and those who wore, wore masks and socially distanced. We started new traditions and let go of old ones. Our resilience and flexibility in the face of adversity and change will carry us into the future. Our Bobcat roots will ground us. As we make our paths forward, I encourage us all to represent ourselves, our community, and Bobcat Nation with integrity and grace remembering our shared education. Congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2021. Thank you, Mason. Would Michael Joseph Wojak please come forward? Valedictorian for the class of 2021 is Michael Joseph Wojak. Michael has a GPA of 4.3929 and will attend the College of William and Mary in the fall where he plans to study computer science. Congratulations to Michael for these outstanding achievements. that we can all be here today to celebrate and to look forward to what comes next. With that in mind, I wanted to share some advice that I've learned over my high school career. Obviously, we've all had to do a lot of work to get to where we are, and we have a lot more work ahead of us. And that work takes up time. It can be challenging, but it's worth it in the long run because it helps set up our futures. I found the best way to get through was by taking things one at a time, working on whatever was coming up next so that I didn't fall behind. But what was just as important as the time I put into doing the work was the time I set aside for myself. I'm sure many people have had similar experiences, but when I was in middle school, I both ran cross country and played travel soccer at the same time. I would get out of school, spend two hours at cross country practice, have to rush home to eat dinner, then go to another two hours of soccer practice and still have homework to do when I finally got home. For some people, that kind of schedule can work, but I realized that I had stopped enjoying myself. So I cut back and made sure I had enough time to actually enjoy what I did choose to keep in my schedule. When I had work to do, I did it, but I always made sure not to overbook myself when possible. Because success isn't a game won by whoever does the most. I believe that giving myself that time to recharge allowed me to be less stressed throughout high school and helped me to be more successful in what I chose to do. That time lets you focus on what you really care about and gives you the flexibility needed to handle unexpected setbacks. Post high school, we get to choose what we want to dedicate ourselves to. But remember to give yourself time to rest and focus on what you care about, rather than split that time between a hundred different things that won't make you happy. Because your quality of life and happiness should always be your priorities. We have to try to live our best lives in the present, or else we never will. I want everyone good luck on whatever you plan to do next. Remember to have fun, live in the present, and don't take life too seriously. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the awarding of diplomas.
You're welcome to come down and take pictures, but please be considerate of others and move in and out quickly when it is time for your graduate. We do have an official photographer. If you prefer his work, you will receive an email and or a letter from LifeTouch explaining how to purchase their photos should you choose to do so. Also, our video productions class will be producing a video copy of tonight's commencement. Please contact the school if you're interested in purchasing one. Assistant Superintendent Mrs. Ellen Denny will be announcing our graduates' names. Mrs. Denny, please come at this time to begin our diploma ceremony. <laughs> Joseph Wojak with honors. Mason Vaughn Sproul with honors. Gillum Thomas Lard with honors. Trinity Elizabeth Adams with honors. <laughs> Skylar Rex Altizer. <laughs> Mary Angela Christine Anderson. Elizabeth Armentrout with honors. <laughs> Jeremiah Thomas Ash. <laughs> Abigail Tate Barnes with honors. Amanda Lynn Barnett. <laughs> Jarrell Rayshawn Baylor. <laughs> Selena Leone Baylor with honors.
Waji Brown. Hattie Grace Bruner with honors. Caroline McKenna Bryant with honors. Marcy Michelle Buckland. Eleanor Grace Buzkel with honors. Madeline Brooke Caldwell. Emma Leanne Kalki with honors. Cody Desiree Call. Kaylee Janae Call. Josie May Klein. Xavier Isaiah Cobbs. Caden Cook. Aiden Thomas Cooney. Camden Randall Cormany with honors. <laughs> Jessica Ashley Craig with honors. <laughs> Tegan Porter Crane. Devin Hill, Colop with honors. Luke Elijah Cundiff. I love you too. Carter Edward Davis.
Emma Grace Duncan with honors. We sure have. Alexandra Nicole Dunn. Hannah Mackenzie Dye. Michaela Renee Eanes. Waheem Calvin Edmonds. Wadad Abdahalik Imam. Miranda Noel Epley with honors. Ian Joseph Epperly. Haley Nicole Fisher. Elena Rose Fawner. Jackson Norman Fuhr with honors. Tristan Garvin. <laughs> Justice Monique Gellner. Jonathan Connor Gilmore. Ryan Finnegan Gordon. Chase Gordon Philip Griffin. Jason Isaiah Hairston. Anthony Harless. <laughs> William Peter Hartick with honors. <laughs> Emma Grace Hastings Crummy with honors. John Highland Hayes. Okay. 
John Grayson Herndon with honors.
Alexander Litton. Let's go to her. Brent Walker Mabry with honors. All right, Brent. Reese Averill Mabry with honors. All right, Reese. Mariah Lynn Martin. Serenity Laree Massey. McMurray with honors. Heaven Grace Meredith.
Trevor Baker Price with honors. Pearson Jalen Prelo with honors.
Lestat Thomas. Thompson. I love you, Haley. <laughs> Margaret Wells Turk with honors. <laughs> Parker Deacon Vice. Adriana Vickers. <laughs> Catherine Ann Vincent with honors. <laughs> Caroline Sophia Wheeler with honors. Thank you, Ms. Denny. Would the class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> by the authority granted me by the Virginia Department of Education and the Radford City School Board, I now declare the class of 2021 graduates of Radford High School. Thank you. 